this series has such an interesting premise and fascinating characters. If you were to describe the series to someone who hasn't seen it, how would you? I would say that Altered Carbon is a, an incredibly rich and sumptuous ride into the 25th century where we explore um, the morals and ethics behind the notion of being able to download your consciousness into the body of your choosing. And the uh, dilemmas that immortality poses for that society. Tell me about Miriam, the character you play, and what you found the most fascinating about her. Well, Miriam Bancroft is um, one is part of the sort of exploration between what it's like to be able to choose your body and the life you live and be part of the one percent elite in society, or be a part of a society who are at the whim of what their dollar and or their social status allows them, the freedom or no freedom. Um, so I, I got to really inhabit a woman who was all about um, trying to maintain power, identifying power, trying to have dominion, trying to participate in the power, trying to control, who's got a tremendous amount of leisure time and has lived for a really long time. Let's say she's between 250 and 300 years old and has been married to her partner who is now 500 years old for an incredibly long time. Uh, and her psychology of staying safe and how she's commodified her sexuality as her way of communing with the world was um, both intoxicating and scary for me, but that's some of why I wanted to do it. Prior to filming, had you read the novel that the series is based on? I did. I read Richard Morgan's novel, Altered Carbon, that our show is based on, and um, I devoured it in a, on a three hot summer days. Um, I really, I, I, I felt so apprehensive of reading it because I knew that if I read it, I'd want so badly to be a part of the project. But I wanted to really also throw my whole self into going after being a part of this cast. And once I read it, I was just hooked. I loved it. Has there been any talk about a second season? I think there has been. Um, okay. I, Richard wrote a, a, a whole slew of books, um, but I both haven't been told what I can say, but also there's only two characters that carry on throughout the series. Okay. So um, one might think of this season as a standalone season. In the series, people can live over and over again. If given the chance, do you think most people would want to live for hundreds of years? I think they would try it. I think if given the <laughs> chance, people would, would try it out for size and see how they liked it. I would. I would see what my, how, what my capacity, what my tolerance mm -hmm. is to live over and over again. But you'd have to imagine that everybody in your immediate cir circle or your intimate circle had the same opportunities because I don't think living forever without other people who are thriving along with you would be worth it. So true. Yeah. This was filmed in Vancouver. Is mm -hmm. that still your home base? It is, you're yeah. From, okay. Yeah. What's the secret to being so successful in Canada? Oh, that's so kind of you to say. <laughs> um, I, what is the secret? Will you tell me? <laughs> um, I have the, the immense good fortune to do work that is of this caliber that I'm both personally and professionally challenged by and that I love doing. I have the good fortune of doing it in Vancouver or in Canada in general. Um, some of that is that I, I, I also keep my Los Angeles career alive. So I, I have the good fortune of working in both countries. And I don't think it's possible to move with ease, no matter how talented you are, in this industry if you also don't try to remain relevant and bankable down in the States as well. So I, I hopefully do a bit of both. And uh, hopefully there's more and more to come.